Black. everybody welcome to my morning routine vlog this is my morning routine for when i go to work i work hybrid i work from home mondays and fridays and i work in office tuesday through thursday so today is tuesday welcome to my tuesday morning routine going into the office i only wake up honestly i try to sleep in as late as i possibly can and that's around 7 30 and that's honestly pushing it every day i'm like am i going to be late am i going to <laughs> take longer to get ready than i typically do if you watch my vlog you know this is like a constant theme in my life of stressing if I'm sleeping in too late. I always make it. It's, there's never an issue, but every day I stress about it. These are the days that I actually have to get ready for the office, and I thought I'd take you guys with me and show you guys my morning routine. If you guys don't know, I do weekly vlogs Monday through Friday pretty much every single week. I show you guys little bits and pieces of my morning routine, but I've never showed you my full morning routine. I thought I'd take you guys with me. First things first, we're gonna brush our teeth, wash our face, and then the order that I like to do it is makeup, outfit, hair. That's just my lineup for getting ready. Let me know your lineup, but let's start doing it so I'm not late for work today. Oh gosh. Every morning it like oh, hits me so hard in the face. I always try to start off my morning by drinking a glass of water. Obviously, my favorite cup that I own. I've read a ton of things about drinking water in the morning. I'm not a coffee drinker. I really wish I was because I could use the caffeine. I just I just can't get into coffee and I want to so bad because I love the culture of it. I love like the different like little milks and flavors, but I just I'm not a coffee drinker. Probably for the best. So Let's start doing my makeup. When it comes to makeup for work, I do the bare minimum. I really want to get to a point where I don't have to wear makeup or that I don't wear makeup to work or that I wear very minimal makeup. I'm on Accutane, so... The Accutane is Accutaning, I will say. I do have some areas of problems, but like compared to what my skin used to look like, I look great right now. So the makeup that I do for work, very, very, very minimal. First, we conceal. I'll link all this stuff down below for you guys if you're curious. My favorite concealer... Sometimes I feel like it kind of rubs away so fast because I have like a thick layer moisturizer under and I don't really want to waste my good makeup and primers and stuff like that on work. Respectfully to work. I'm pale right now. Normally I would love to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow, but this, even the lightest shade that they have is really yellow for my skin tone. So I'm going to go in with a foundation, just like half a pump. Makeup by Mario. It's a real skin foundation. I'm in 2N. That's probably not even enough, but we'll see dotting that on my skin. Yeah, I don't think that's enough, but whatever. Who am I gonna impress? And then we're using a little foundation brush to blend it all in. This is just to kind of like even out my skin tone, not really to cover much because thank you to my Accutane, I don't have too much to cover. For under eyes, the only thing that I have that is light enough for my pale skin right now is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. This isn't even a concealer, but it is the only thing that is light enough for me right now. And I use a dry beauty sponge. To blend it in because I don't want to take the time out of the day and wake up two seconds earlier to dampen it. We're gonna set it with a little bit of Laura Mercier translucent powder just under my eyes and in my t-zone. Took a little bit where I kind of put that concealer. I do think that when I rub the foundation and it rubbed away all that concealer, it's whatever. It's fine. Hula bronzer on this big brush, just like barely dusting it because I'm so pale right now. It's winter. It's ugly season. 
eventually i'll be tan and i'll be hot they always like to bring a little bit down my neck too i will say if i do want a little bit more coverage on some of my spots i'll use the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear powdered foundation and i'll kind of pack that where i want that extra coverage and it covers it very very nicely which i really really like favorite blush at the moment has been the bare minerals gen nude in pretty pink i think it's showing up a little bit more orangey on camera but it's very natural and it's really nice for my pale skin right now putting down the high points of my face just so i look like i have color and i'm not like scary you know my nose itches do we want to highlight today? Do we, do we not? Let's do it. Why not? We're here. This is not even technically a highlighter. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. It's so natural. Like, it's like the perfect natural highlight for this kind of like natural makeup look that I'm going for. Just hit it right here and right here. It's so natural looking. And you can really see my skin under this foundation. Like, like this is not a, this is not a great makeup look. I really do the bare minimum. For eyebrows, I've really been loving the Grande Brow Gel 2-in-1. I will say, I'm like completely out of this. Like, this is me scraping whatever is left out of this product. But it just kind of fills in those like sparse spots on my eyebrows. Love. I just brush them out. Giving the eyelashes a little bit of a curl. I didn't put any concealer on my eyelids because I wanted the darkness from me being tired to kind of be my eyeshadow. You do not need this expensive of mascara. This is YSL. I also really love the L'Oreal Telescopic Lid. I think that's my favorite mascara, but that one's a little dramatic. So I like to go for this one for work because it's a little bit more natural with this like natural kind of skin look that I'm going for. I always get it all over my lid. I actually go in with a different bottom mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Waterproof. This is in the brown one. There's like nothing left on this mascara. Like this is completely dried out. But I don't like to use the same top and bottom mascara because I feel like it kind of makes me look like a scary doll with like the really long bottom lashes. Last but not least, we're going in with Benetint. This is a lip tint. Swiping that across my lips. Just give me some color so I don't look like I'm, I was going to say dehydrated. I don't know. Cleaning up that mascara. And there we go. There is our little very, 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 hello, <laughs> very minimal makeup look. What do we think? What do we think? Onto the outfit, onto the hair. My typical formula for a work outfit is a t-shirt or a bodysuit and trousers or jeans. I usually go with that. I feel like it's a classic. I feel like I always look professional, but it's not that intense, crazy of an outfit. I don't have to put too much thought into it. This top is from Amazon. It's not a bodysuit, actually. It's a top and it's really, really soft. And then these trousers are from Abercrombie. I'll link everything down below for you guys. My hair, it's kind of still curled. Like, it doesn't look great, but like, it's it looks presentable if I brushed it. I want to do a little dry shampoo. Just a few little sprays. A lot of the times during work, look at my hair right now. A lot of the times I'll slick my hair back and just kind of do a ponytail. I feel like it looks professional, it looks nice, and I don't have to put that much effort. I don't have to put heat on my hair. That's kind of my go-to. I'm going to add my little favorite hoops. These are from Amazon. And then I always wear this same necklace. I love a little small hoop moment. And I always wear my Apple Watch because I've been trying to get 10,000 steps a day. And so my Apple Watch is what tracks it all. So I always have to have that on. We do deodorant. We do perfume. I have this little perfume sampler kit. So I've been trying out a bunch of different perfumes. I got this for Christmas. And then the very end, I pick out my favorite perfume. And then I get like a full-size bottle of it, which is very fun. Normally, I just kind of reach in and pick one. Or I'll use the card. I've already tried that one. I want something new. Black opium. Have I tried this? This is YSL. Black. What does this one smell like? They have a little card that tells you what everything smells like. Black opium is a warm and spicy scent. Warm and sweet commands. White floral bouquet. Vanilla quartet. Coffee accord. Let's give her a little spritzy spritz. Oh, wow. Normally perfumes take a moment for like the smell to kind of develop, but I smell that right away. <laughs> I kind of went up my nose. Oh, my. That tickled my nose so hard. Oh my goodness, mm. I didn't love that. I didn't love that a lot. Gonna rub in the dry shampoo. Usually at this point I'm panicking that I'm gonna be late. Usually to work I either wear my Air Force Ones or I wear like a little like cutie looking sandal. I'm so glad that my hair is already done so I don't have to waste time and like do it. I will say one side definitely looks better than the other. So we'll just have my hair like this for the day. Let's get some breakfast and start packing up our work bag and then we'll head out.
I personally prefer a bagel for breakfast, but it takes longer and I've been trying to eat more protein. So I've been making these little egg bites. I'll meal prep them on Sunday and then I'll have them for the week. I just do eggs and then I did ham and cheese for this one. Pop them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 in these little like muffin tins and they're a good little breakfast. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my god. Normally I put my lunchbox in my work bag, but I'm not going to bring lunch today because my work caters food for us on Tuesdays. For breakfast, and normally it's a late breakfast, so by the time lunch comes around, I'm not hungry. So I'm not going to bring lunch today because I just normally don't eat it on Tuesdays anyways because I'm not hungry enough for it. Grabbing my work bag. This is from Amazon. I'll link this down below for you guys as well. I just love my laptop in it. And then I always bring my purse to the side as well because I always forget stuff if I don't just bring my purse. So this is my little work outfit. We're about to head out for the day. Go to work. I love you guys so much i hope that you enjoyed my little morning routine a little look into it um i'll link everything that i use down below for you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye